Hey everybody, welcome back to the Actors Vlog. I'm Stephen Anthony Bailey, this is episode 8. Happy New Year. I just wanted to uh, check in real quick and talk about uh, some New Year's resolutions. Uh, it is a new year, and uh, every new year people make New Year's resolutions. What are New Year's resolutions? Basically they're just goals, right? Since the beginning of this uh, vlog series, I've been talking a lot about goals, setting your goals and getting them accomplished. Uh, when we think about our careers and we start our careers out as actors, we always think very big picture, like, oh, I want to be a series regular on a, a TV show on NBC, or I want to book a pilot, or I want to work with Martin Scorsese, or something of that nature. This is a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, it's a career. It's not just something that you're going to do one time. So the thing for me that I do, I have those big goals as well, but what I like to do is I like to uh, set a lot of smaller goals, which I've talked about in past uh, vlogs, but I'm going to just kind of re-go over that again today. I make lists all the time, um, you know, just write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, small lists, like make a few more vlogs. You know, this is my way of, of, of staying busy in between auditions as well as uh, being able to give out the information to uh, newer actors, information that I wish I would have had back when I first started. Um, so that's pretty much what this is, but I, I, you know, I do little stuff like this, I write a blog, and you know, again, I've always talked about throughout this entire vlog series about, uh, you know, staying busy and creating something every single day. Um, I find that what I do is I, I give myself goals to do, like for this year I know how many vlogs I want to make. If I make more than that, great. If I don't meet it, then that's something that's disappointing. So when I see that list hanging up on the wall saying, hey, you still have vlogs to make for the year. It, uh, it keeps me fired up and gives me that responsibility of saying, oh yeah, that's right, I need to stay working. I can't just take time off and go hang out at the beach. Even though, to be honest with you, sometimes it is good to take uh, a few days off and go to the beach. How my year ended last year was pretty, pretty wild. Barn, you are just like right in the frame, dude. Like, you're like, here's where you should be if you want to be in frame, but just like having one ear, you just want to sit there. Cool. How my year ended last year was pretty pretty epic, actually. Uh, I was in this film called Until Forever Born. Come on, you're killing the video, bro. So I was in this movie called Until Forever, and uh, it got distributed down to Central and South America. Now, how that happened was uh, the film did open up last February, February 2016, and, uh, you know, it kind of went on a limited theatrical run like many movies do, and then I thought that was it. And then this uh, production company called Kanzio and Films picked up the film and put out the trailer. The trailer went viral in South, uh, Central and South America, and then they took me and the director, Michael Lynn, down to uh, a few different countries to do press and, you know, kind of introduce the movie and invite people to come see it. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of hard work. You know, I learned things. I'm still learning every day, you know, so it's, it's interesting for me to be teaching. But, but that's why there's only eight episodes of the vlog series is because, you know, uh, I'm still learning a lot as I go, too. Uh, what I'm finding is that this is, uh, you know, there's only a, f a finite amount of things to learn as far as here's what to do to start booking and, and getting in, into the acting world. But I'm finding that a lot of what I'm still figuring out is the psychological of it. Uh, you know, how to... Uh, go about not getting bitter or uh, jaded as they say. Uh, for me, you know, like when I was on that trip, it was definitely eye-opening because it was like kind of my first taste of what a junket is like, where you sit down in a room kind of like this with a black drape behind you just like this. And uh, as you can see, the vlog does have a different look. I'm doing it with a, a black, black drape now, you know, because I'm trying to be professional for you guys. So, uh, but uh, you would sit there and you'd go through, you know, eight, ten interviews a day, you know, and they're asking you the same seven questions. So, uh, for me, it was very much, uh, you know, uh, me learning how to um, keep that fresh, you know, which it, it does relate back to your acting because, you know, we, we're supposed to do, you know, if you're working with, like, David Fincher, he's going to have you do 20, 30, 40, 50 takes, right? So I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of psychological things that I'm still learning and I think we never ever, st obviously we never stop growing in our art form and getting good at our craft but uh, and building our craft, but I think as far as the business side goes too, there's a lot of things to still be learned. For me, what I learned by going on that trip and doing the junket was, uh, you know, what, what needs to happen with me is I need to uh, work on, you know, being 
myself more, but I think that that would help out in my acting work as well. I think we need, you know, because we do need to bring ourselves to it. Um, I can't remember whose quote it is, but it's, uh, I think it might be Johnny Depp. He says, if you're not bringing yourself to the role that you're playing, you're not acting, you're lying. Because what he's trying to say there is that acting isn't putting up walls and, and hiding. It's it, it, who we are. It's bringing ourselves into that role because that's truth. Our, when we bring ourselves to the role, that's immediate truth. That's absolute truth. And, uh, you know, I kind of re-realized that, you know, that truth of what Johnny Depp was saying on that tour. Um, you know, so uh, for me, you know, it was very exhausting uh, traveling that much, being on multiple planes. When I was a kid, I used to think getting on airplanes and flying was romantic, and it was very cool, and now I'm just like, ah, no more airplanes, you know. And granted, like, that sounds like such a friggin' humble brag, which I hate, but uh, it's true. Uh, you start hating airplanes. You see how disgusting they are, and, you know, you get tired of having a head cold. I still sound a bit raspy. I'm still fighting it off. I had, like, six head colds in a row. It was like every country I went to, I got a new head cold. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got from anybody was if you stay in LA long enough something will happen. Uh, what that is uh, is different for each person, you know, for some people it remains to be seen, you know, if they're here three years nothing happens or something. But even even with nothing happening that's still something happening. It's telling them, you know, it's, it's, it is a message uh, being presented to them that either maybe acting is not for them or that they need to shake things up and do it a bit differently. I know for me, I've had to kind of do things differently than I see other people doing them, and I'm actually fine with that because it, uh, I'm, I find myself to need creativity all the time. I always need to be creating something. That's why I personally love the social media aspect of uh, my work because I can do something creative every day, whether it's photography or making a video or whatever. And, you know, I can just, or write, I can just write whatever I want and post it and uh, write poetry or whatever. I just, I just really enjoy it. So for me, it's like it, part of, you know, some people look at it as, oh, that's my job. I just look at it as these are my creative outlets in between my bigger projects because that's all we're really doing here. That's the way I started looking at everything was, okay, I'm telling the story. If I post an Instagram photo, regardless of there's hashtags or a, a, a caption or not, you're still telling some sort of story, and that might be the smallest story you tell, or the amount of 140 or so characters on a tweet. That's a very small story, but you're still telling a story, you know? And then when you act in your big feature film, or your uh, series regular on a TV show, that's your big giant project story. So uh, when I started thinking of it, oh, this, these are my outlets to tell my stories, uh, it became a lot more fun. And I think that's the thing that we need to remember is that, you know, careers can seem daunting and seem like a lot of work, but at the end of the day, like, we have to make them fun. We are choosing not to be uh, an accountant or a doctor or a lawyer or work on a construction site or manage a Kinko's. I don't know. I'm just picking random jobs at the top of my head, but we're choosing not to do that and, and chase down these dreams because it's supposed to be fun. We want to have fun and get paid for it, as ridiculous as it sounds. So always remember just to have fun with everything that you do uh, and do everything by choice. Like everything is your choice. No one is at all forcing you to do anything. Um, if you don't want to do something, don't do it. You might be slamming certain doors and, and closing them off, but at the same time, I really think that, um, you know, we, we really do need to enjoy our work. And, um, you know, believe me, I've done projects that, uh, some days I wish I hadn't done, but other days I look at where I'm at and I say, well, I don't know that I'd be sitting here if I hadn't done them. Then the other way to look at it is, well, maybe I'd be further. Some other project would have come along and it would have led me further quicker, but what is that really? There's that saying that comparison is the root of misery, and I'm kind of going to elaborate on that with my resolution. It's, you know, stop wanting to be anywhere else than where you are, because right where you are is where you're supposed to be where you need to be, and where you are, you can do so much uh, from where you are and have fun with it. Like, I'm, I really am having fun making this video right now. Um, and to me, like, I, I remember being very negative about the idea that I was creating most of the work, like I was doing most of the work for my career, but then I thought to myself, well, you know, I could go out there and uh, 
keep working on other people's projects all the time, all the time, all the time, you know, in this, in this space of, you know, just wanting to work all the time because I really do enjoy it. But then I, I find myself being happier creating my own projects, whether it be a web series or short film or feature film or a music video or whatever it is. When I do it myself and I'm, you know, the tough part for me is the editing, like getting it edited and getting it out. But there's nothing more exciting than publishing your own work and putting it on YouTube and then sharing it to all your social media and then seeing what people think of it and things of that things like that. But I, I think that um, you know, it's just for me for me with my career, I really do enjoy creating all of it. I love working on other people's stuff if it's the right project. But now I finally have the right um, outlook on it, or the right perspective to, to see like, oh, when I when I do my own stuff I would rather do 10 films of my own that take me forever, and maybe I don't make as much money, but I said what I wanted to say and had a lot of fun doing them, rather than work on uh, 30 or 40 films where maybe I made a little bit more money, but I was miserable the whole time. So that's my resolution, is trying to keep that perspective of keeping this career fun and, you know, being uh, happy doing what I'm doing, and when the other right projects come along, which they always do, uh, and they always surprise you every single time. Every single time I get an audition for something or an offer to do something, I'm always surprised. And, you know, sometimes I don't like them and I turn them down. Sometimes I'm super surprised and then I love them and I take them and they turn out to be amazing experiences. But even the, on the ones that maybe you're, you think to yourself, ah, oh, this was a miserable piece or something, or I didn't like working with that person, they still, I mean, they're still great experiences because you're getting paid to play for a living and you're getting paid to, you know, do something that uh, millions of people wish that they could do, especially if you've made it to one of these central hubs. If you're living in LA or you're living in New York or Atlanta or Vancouver or Chicago or Austin, uh, if you're living in one of those central hubs of entertainment, like, you're op so many people already want to be you. So, uh, maybe not you, but it be in your place. Um, or maybe they do want to be you, I don't know. But uh, just look at yourself as lucky that way. Try to keep that positive perspective. Try to keep the perspective of wanting to be in charge of your own career and create things that you care about. Because uh, that's what an artist is. An artist is somebody who has something to say. Uh, I see tons of people that hold cameras that... Uh, call themselves artists or directors or cinematographers, but they're not saying anything, they're just hitting the record button. That doesn't make you an artist. So uh, be, be proud of, you know, what you have to say and what you do because it's so corny. I'm going to say it anyway. There's no one else like you. <laughs> There's no one else like you and no one else can do what you do. So just keep keep at it and keep keep, you know, putting something together. I mean, I was listening to Steven Spielberg. He was talking about, you know, he doesn't really care how good a movie looks, he cares about what a movie's saying, and is, is somebody telling a, a compelling story, is their storytelling, the way they're telling a the story is that compelling, um, so just always keep that in mind, um, so, you know, it's a new year, it's 2017, 17's my lucky number, so uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a great year, but make your goals, set your goals, don't just set one, uh, you know, New Year's resolution, because you know, there's that crazy statistic of how many people drop their New Year's resolutions. You don't make New Year's resolutions. You're an actor, you're an artist. You make life resolutions, and you make a lot of them. Uh, don't just say, I want to be in a movie. Just, you know, give me, you know, more than that. You need to, no, give yourself more than that. You need to give yourself a lot more than that. Give yourself little goals to do. What are you going to do this week? What are you going to do today? What are you going to do right now? What are you going to do this year? Spread it all out, you know, come up with a, take out a piece of paper and have different columns. Say, what am I going to do uh, this week, this month, this six, in the first six months of the year, and throughout the whole year. Like, for me, I'm ready to direct a feature. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm putting it on video right now, so I'm going to make myself do it. And uh, I'm done with waiting for the right amount of uh, investors to come through, the right amount of funding. I'm done waiting on the right cameras. I'm done waiting on the right script, the right actors. At some point, you just got to pull the trigger and you just got to go. You can't sit and live in fear. And uh, to be honest with you, I've been guilty of that in certain areas of my career. Uh, directing is one of them because I do think I have a, uh, a knack, at least a curiosity, curiosity for it. So I'm going to go for it. That's my big one. That's my big for the year. Like I want to direct a full-length play, which I've never done, and I want to direct a feature. 
and I want to act a lot too because I am an actor but at the same time you know I do have a curiosity for directing and I want to see if I can do it so uh, do things that scare you do things that make you nervous do things that you're curious about too don't just say hey, I want to go to class oh was that a challenge because you're going anyway you are already gonna go do a little bit more than that you can do it uh, that's the way that we we shake things up don't just do what everybody else does or else you're going to end up like everybody else. How many people in your acting class are working? For real working. How many people in your acting class are creating their own stuff, uh, really pushing themselves ahead? It's not as many as you think. So get out there and work, because uh, you have so much to say and so much to do, and so do I. So I'm going to leave you with that. Happy New Year. This is a quick one, but I just want to wish you all Happy New Year and, uh, you know, kind of remind you that um, you know, this career takes you in many different places. It's a blessing. If you put the right amount of work into it, it can keep growing and becoming something that, you know, you never realized it could be. You know, what's amazing is, you know, we set these goals and we cross them off, and then all of a sudden, new goals appear that you didn't know you had. That's the beauty of this career. Again, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So just, you know, just move forward. That's all you got to do in a marathon. Just keep moving forward and don't stop. And you'll be surprised at how much stronger and how much faster you get. And how far along you get. It goes by really, really quickly. And eventually you just ha look at yourself one day and you just realize, wow, look at all the, this uh, body of work I've created. And you can be proud of it. So uh, you can do it. And I'm here for you. If you have any questions, write me, hit me up. Follow me on it, uh, social media. I'm Shana Bailey's on all of it. I'm Stephen Anthony Bailey. Thanks for checking out the Actors Blog. Vlog. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a new year and I still can't walk.